guys, so today I'm going to be recreating the beautiful woven braid with a headscarf tutorial for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just section off my fringe. I'm going to pull the hair on either side just from behind my ear because that's how much hair I would like for my fringe. But it's up to you guys how you'd like to style it. And then I'm just going to twist my fringe and just clip it in place just so it's out of the way for the braid. I'm going to grab a comb and I'm going to start taming my hair backwards because this is where my headscarf is going to sit. And then I'm going to take my Tresemme Get Sleek Creation Hairspray and this is just going to hold that bit of the hair in place for me and tame it down as well. I also spray my hand and then pull my hair to one side just to create a little bit more of a polished look and I'm going to secure this in place with a rubber band just to the side. Now I chose to start with wavy hair just for a little bit more texture and bounce. I'm going to spray my hair again before it comes to me putting the headscarf in. So I've gone for the right thickness that I like. I like the headscarf to be a little bit thick and then I'm going to secure that in place with a knot when I'm happy with where it sits to the side because we're doing this braid to the side so just knot that into place make sure it's pretty secure on your head and then we're going to take that rubber band out so what i'm going to do is gonna spray the hair again just to tame any flyaways and polish the hair off a little bit before we start the braid and then we're going to do a simple three strand braid so we're going to use the head scarf as an actual section of the braid and we're going to just start braiding the hair all the way down now the head scarf creates such a pretty look to our braid i really love it when you get to the end I'm just gonna do a simple knot using the headscarf so splitting it into two which can be a little bit tricky when you get the hang of it you'll be okay and just knot that into place make sure it's secure don't worry if you pull it too hard because then you just want to pull on the hair just to even it out and just make sure you're happy with the way that it looks now we're just going to take the clips out of our fringe and it's time to style the fringe which is my favorite bit of the look so we're just going to hairspray that in place and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a tongue now we're going to curl the root bit towards our face and then I'm going to take the rest of the hair and I'm going to curl that away from my face so it's going to create this sort of swoosh and then wave that's what I like to call it so when you've done that you just want to pull it out run your fingers through the hair just to create a little bit more of a softer look and then you almost just want to play with that bang play with it see where it's naturally falls try and manipulate it to how you would like it to look and when you are happy with it just clip it into place with a bobby pin when you are happy with that section you just want to hairspray it in place again just to lock that look into place so we're going to do exactly the same side on the other side so curl it towards your face at the root and then away and then just manipulate that by running your fingers through softening the look and placing it how you would like it and then just pin it into place Finishing your look off, you'll just want to add another light mist of hairspray on the braid and on your bangs just to lock the look into place. And that is it, guys. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did and you want to see more, then make sure that you subscribe to the ATH channel. Thank you so much for watching.